Herb Ways is about herbal medicine. Herbal medicine is the same thing as phytotherapy. So there's a place for herbal medicine in natural medicine. And we need to know where exactly it should be. When you have issues with your body, you have a symptom. If you arrest that symptom or work on your body, or if you've been working on your lifestyle all along, and you are in tune with your body, you'll know when something is going wrong. And you know how to address it immediately or as soon as possible. And that is why this proverb says, a stitch in time saves nine. And an ounce of prevention is much, much better than a pound of cure. Herbal medicine comes as your first line of treatment when things are going wrong. It comes on top of your foundation to everything, which is food. A balanced diet and then some herbs to push your body to use to support or build the immune system to help your kidneys, to help your liver and all that. Now, if you don't address the issue at that time and you don't work using natural medicine, you get to a stage where you're going to need some major therapeutic agents. And those major therapeutic agents are the pharmaceutical medications. And these ones are going to be suppressing the symptoms that you've been feeling instead of working on bringing your body back into balance. So after using the med uh, pharmaceutical drugs for a long time, managing the symptoms without addressing the root cause of the problem, you now end up going to your doctor and they are telling you with, they need to do surgery. So you see, if we had done something earlier, we won't go down that route. So it's like different stages. If you don't arrest it at the right time, it keeps progressing and the problem keeps getting more and more, precipitating into a chronic ailment that you end up under the knife of a doctor. So in natural medicine, we believe that it's better for us to reverse the process, that you don't end up going to the doctor. I can give an example of a case of a patient of mine that happened a few years ago. She was diagnosed with having glaucoma. And the doctors told her there was nothing else they could do because she's been using the medication to suppress or re reduce the pressure on her eyes. There was nothing else they could do. So she now came to see me. I advised, I said, well, in natural medicine, our first line of treatment is a detox. After the detox, then we take other therapeutic agents that are going to reverse the process of what is going on in your body. I worked on the kidneys, I worked on the liver, I worked on in a particular order. After doing all those things over time, she now went back to do her eye test. And they were saying that it was a medical miracle. But this thing is simple because they say true greatness lies in simplicity. It is simple because she has come to meet somebody that could help her. I was just a teacher, guiding her on what to do and explaining every process back on that road. Up till today, this same woman can still see with her eyes. She hasn't gone blind. She's actually changed career and started studying natural medicine. And she's also helping other people to reverse such processes in their bodies. So it's simple. Don't go on this way. It's like a road to destruction. You can take it another route. Reverse it. Take another direction. Work on yourself. Take responsibility. Consciously change whatever you've been doing that is not right. We have a lot of herbs in our environment and they do so many things. They have their own medicinal properties, but a lot of Nigerians feel that it's better to take these herbs as teas. The teas you keep on drinking and drinking and drinking, to have a therapeutic effect takes longer. So as a herbalist or a naturopath, there are ways you can extract 
the medicinal properties of the herbs without losing the active ingredient and without using any toxic chemicals. So we concentrate the herbs and we use them as extracts. The extracts could be liquid, they could be solid. I prefer to use liquid extracts because it makes the product more bioavailable, more easily absorbed by the body and they work faster. And you don't lose any of the medicinal properties. Some people prefer to encapsulate the dry herbs, the dried herbs. It could be good for some people, but it's not as effective as if that dried capsule is made from a solid extract. It takes training to learn how to do these processes. That is beyond the scope of this program. I'm just advising that when you go to your practitioner and they tell you, go and buy five kilo, uh, 100 grams of a particular herb and start taking it one teaspoon at a time. I don't think that is going to help you that much. You won't go too far because the strength of what you're taking is not enough. You need to concentrate it more and you need to be able to ask your practitioner, is this the right way for me to take this product? Can I get it at a higher concentration? You need to talk in a nice way so they'll know that you know exactly or you are learning at least a little bit of what you can do to help yourself. So herbal extracts are more concentrated, they are more potent, they are more effective, and the dose that you need to take is even lower. You don't need to take tons and tons and tons of cups of tea before you have the therapeutic benefit.